Welcome to our channel. Everyone got some chopsticks. Oh yeah. Dylan, there's some for you for later, don't worry. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I have two very special guests because we are going to film a mukbang video. So this is Sarah, this is Rachel. You've probably seen them both in my YouTube videos before because we've been around. around. We've been around. around. Um, so we basically pulled you guys to figure out what we were gonna eat today for this mukbang slash mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> and what were the, the votes for what? A lot of Asian food, actually. A lot of Chinese food. Okay. There was a lot of noodles. Um, someone suggested the entire Tim Hortons menu, but that would have been aggressive. <laughs> Very like. <laughs> my people said McDonald's and Chick Fil A, I and mean, we don't have Chick Fil A. Yeah. These girls are vegetarian. So Chick-fil-A. someone also said Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger? Yeah. yeah, but we don't have Whataburger either, right? Whataburger is the place. Oh, I thought. Never mind. What's the one in Waterloo? The works. The, w- <laughs> the works. The no, works. Do they have that in Toronto? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And in Toronto. Oh, but, yeah. Well, they have that near my school. <laughs> so we need to show the food. Yes. What did you get? Where did what you did get you? it from? This is all a surprise. Okay. Us. So I actually looked up 15 top places to get sushi <laughs> in Toronto. And I've been to like four of the places in the top five. This was number seven, so I thought it was pretty reputable. <laughs> this was number seven. And it was really close to my house. I'm scared. Um, to be honest, I already tried a piece because I was really hungry <laughs> and it's really freaking fresh. Nice. So it should be really good. What is it called? It's called Wow. 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 Oh, I heard of it. Yeah. And it turns out I actually have been there before once a couple years ago. Um, so we shouldn't get salmonella or anything. Oh, perfect. That's agadashi tofu. You guys yeah. have probably had that before. So yummy. Um, this is Chinese eggplant. So this is literally <laughs> my favorite appetizer to order when I go to Japanese places. No one else ever eats it except for me. I thought that, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's good. I like eggplant. I like eggplant. It's because the Chinese eggplant is skinnier than regular Mm -hmm. eggplant. It's like narrow and long. (laughs) (laughs) Bon appetit! Yay. So what are we going to talk about? That's really good. Success. Oh, trippy. Mm-hmm. Which one's that, too? Yeah, it's pretty good. Just doesn't look appetizing. Okay. I feel like we're just gonna eat and not talk at all. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Um, would you rather only be able to eat sushi for the rest of your life or pizza? Pizza. Really? <laughs> sushi for me. Pizza? Yeah, I think pizza. I get too tired. Sometimes I'm like really not in the mood for fish and like raw things, you know? Do you ever get like that when mm-hmm. you just feel like so meh? Is this your like stomach? Half cooked. <laughs> kind of. I just felt like pizza's more balanced. <laughs> It was also like not Japanese in general, but like just sushi. Like yeah. I couldn't just have sushi. But what if it was like cucumber and rice? That's it. Like there's nothing else in the world. Or like the avocado. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't do it for you. Pizza, you can have so many options there. Pizza's good, but we'd be really large. So hard. Yeah. What's your Christina favorite? Got the most unique. <laughs> I didn't even Arrayed choose. Sushi. I didn't choose. I'm like, what's looks good. what size do you want? They're like, or they asked me what size I wanted, and I said medium or large, and then large is for 88 pieces. Uh-huh. I thought that might be too much. I don't know. But then I saw this and it looks so small. <laughs> Doesn't it look small? It's like a good size. Oh my god, I just put... Do you have any building? Wasabi. Oh, I need some ginger. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> She'll be okay. Wait, I asked this to... Actually, Dylan and I asked each other this question a lot. What? <laughs> um, if you could have a dinner party with like three people... Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you could have a dinner party with three people... Dead or alive? Like who would they be? That that's from the movie. That's from the movie. It's like a typical. It's a typical question. Ro- I know, but I just I just remember that from Boss. Fair game. I'm not discrediting the question. Well, the sushi's gonna be gone. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> and Haley, or without Haley? Um, not Haley Bieber. <laughs> Sorry. Haley Bieber. I like her middle name. What is it again? It's Road. Like, yeah, that's that. kind of fancy. Road. I think she should have been Baldwin Bieber. Oh, really that would have been sick. HBB? I'm like, yeah. Just in case it doesn't work out, you know? But like, it's still there. I feel like it's that's, that's it. it. It's done. Like, it has to work now. It this is to more work. serious than my Once you change your Instagram name? <laughs> I bet they got married to... already, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah. like yeah. undercover. Well, you don't change your name if you don't. Yeah, yeah, legit. You, you don't you, have a ring on it. Do you hear why she did it? She wants to have a clothing line in the future and call it Haley Bieber. That's what I heard. Do you know why she did it? <laughs> That's the only reason why business. Instagram is a business. It's not real life. Justin Bieber. 
just for fun. That's fun. Wild card one. <laughs> Unless you always want to hang out. Apparently, he's really Christian. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think he is. Probably. Is he? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some type of girl boss. I just don't know who. Anna Wintour. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> not a fan of her. Really? We well, just don't care. Well, like, I mean, she's not, she's not like a modern girl boss, you know? Like, I'd want to talk to someone who's kind of like a mentor, because I feel like that's more useful. Yeah. Like, obviously, the older people have good knowledge, yeah. too, but it'd be cool to see someone. I don't know, like, mm -hmm. Sophia Emerson or something like that. I would yeah. say we wear what, but I feel like I can do that. I feel like it's feasible. Yeah? Yeah. She's I've seen young. her at dinner. <laughs> yeah. So, fun fact, Rachel you know. met Danielle at dinner. Well, kind of. Like, I'm not at dinner. In I mean, Israel. I met her in Israel. I've only I've only bumped into like bloggers and people when I'm out of the country. Not true. in Toronto. Never in Toronto. They're never here. No, because like, Toronto's like mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Toronto. <laughs> I like Toronto. Well, your second babe. Okay, it's not I'll change my answer for this one. Well, I'll change mine for a while. I still have like, an answer. You go first. Okay. Honestly, I feel like so you're better number that. one would be Michelle Obama. Your twin. <laughs> my twin, yeah. Everyone thinks I look like her on YouTube. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> that's cool, yeah. I'm flattered. Mm. Um, number one know. would be Michelle Obama. Number two, I think I always pick someone, I always pick like humanitarians and people like that. Because they're like, actually really Well, smart. I think they're really, yeah. really interesting. Yeah. I think Michelle Obama would be really cool because like, I don't know. She's cool. She's a cool woman. Oh, and the second would obviously be Oprah. And then Obviously. they're all like the same people. Basically, they're all like the same. I'm like, mm, no. no. I think I would do. Oh, it depends. If like, and then the third would be someone like El Chapo or someone like really like controversial and I don't know. Just to pick their brain. Just because they all probably have really cool stories. But yeah. But yeah. So usually I pick an artist or someone like that. But like a musician, artist, or like um, Picasso. just someone who's super creative. <coughs> yeah. It'd be sad if one of them just. Banksy? Sucked. Yeah, like someone like Banksy or something like that. Like, I don't know. Someone who just. I feel like he would talk. <laughs> so cool lady. Or like another YouTuber, too. I always want to meet like mm -hmm. someone really big, like Zoella or something like mm -hmm. that. She was see. like the OG one. Yeah. And Instagram. On Instagram. Because they Instagram. turned into business people, too. Mm -hmm. Just to see, like, how. Yeah, Michelle Vaughn. Yeah, I mean, like what their approach is and like what their mentality is and mm -hmm. also how things change like actually Yeah, with Michelle Fawn, I'd also be curious like why she decided to leave YouTube because mm -hmm. now she's like Fully runs her business full-time like exactly. I feel like a lot of them have and just to see like if they miss it or like yeah No, for sure if they're fulfilled with well, I feel, other mm -hmm. I feel like they end they stop doing it because they eventually like are yeah uninspired or like they've been doing it for so long It's like mm -hmm. any business you end up moving on to something else and then your old businesses become like passive income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, because you hire people. Yeah, passive income. Key like, to success is passive income. Read the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. You guys the what? what did the you just say? Read the four hour work eh, work week by Tim Ferriss. Yeah, still read it. Has he? It's good. <laughs> J.K. Yeah. Rowling also. Be a great Same person. room? Oh, is this for me? Yeah. It is. Shall we doubt? Um. Thank you. Yeah, all mine are kind of like boring and nerdy, but those are really <laughs> okay. We're not trying to get sexual here anyway. No, no one's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like you are watch you like Jeffree Star and Tana like talk mm -hmm. and mukbang, and it's just like so aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tana yeah. was here in Toronto. Yeah, I know. She was. Yeah. Oh my god. No, she met her. Yeah. I watched the video where they get her and um, date. Or David? Like David? Two of that birthday? Yeah, yeah, I loved that. And they just like chilled at their house after. I didn't watch the video, but I just didn't watch the whole thing. The video of it, I don't think. I just really watch his vlogs because they're like so short mm -hmm. to the point. I'm just like, okay, I'm fulfilled. I know what happened now. Okay. <laughs> I can I can sleep. Mm -hmm. I think we were talking about this one time. Like I always start watching her videos when, when I'm time. Yeah, like when I'm like on the verge of like a breakdown or something. Like I just like I don't know why I gravitate towards this. Because her life is more fucked up than yours, or because like she's just hilarious. I think it's just like you're you're just craving like I don't know. It's like guilty pleasure kind of TV mm -hmm. or like comfort YouTube. food, comfort yeah, kind of like comfort that. YouTube comfort sushi. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Like I don't know. Her like honestly, story times like. I love that. I love story times too. She's so good at speaking without <laughs> tripping on her words like I do all the time. <laughs> wow, we're almost done our sushi. <laughs> we still haven't answered any questions. <laughs> what do you think the hardest thing about being like on Instagram is? 
even though I don't think I compare myself, it's definitely that. Like, I don't think I do it, really. Like, I don't directly compare myself to people um, or other influencers. Mm -hmm. But in a way, like, in the back of my mind, it kind of is that. Like, the reason I don't think I do it, like, super consciously is because I know that because I'm running this other business, I'm obviously not able to put as much time and energy into, like, Instagram for mm -hmm. my blog. So... I'm like, okay, Christina, you have to, like, understand, like, you're not just doing one thing. You're focusing on multiple. So I think that's what kind of, like, helps with them. And I feel, like, subconsciously, I'm like, fuck, like, I'm not growing. Like, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the hardest thing for me is just not having a schedule. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, we were saying, yeah. never being able to take a break off. That's Especially true. Instagram. Because YouTube, yeah. you could, like, take a nice break. You could, like, go. If Instagram didn't yeah. exist, I feel like YouTubers would do that all the time. They just go away yeah. for a week or even, like, a month. And oh, you could schedule a video to go up, like... Yeah. all the time because you Instagram, have to be live yeah. mm -hmm. it's instant and you can't like yeah. schedule stories and you can't mm -hmm. you can schedule posts to a, a certain extent but yeah. it's like like I was just watching Jenna Marbles her video but she still makes videos yeah, I, I need her. to catch up on those she's like one of my favorites but she was talking about how like she never takes a break for Christmas but this week this year she's taking two weeks off and she's like I'll be back January 9th and I'm so like yeah that's so I nice need to do out that. of office I, know. Back soon. I admire that I, need to do that. Like, well, I, I really admire that but. I feel like people there, sh there should be no reason for people to not understand that like mm -hmm. people don't want to work or who have corporate jobs don't want to mm -hmm. work past nine to five so like mm -hmm. respect other people's time as you want yours to be respected mm -hmm. I guess I think it's more just like with all these algorithms <laughs> I'm just trying to it's like them. you can't with a nine to five job mm -hmm. unless you're messing around like you're pretty guaranteed you have yeah. that money and like the it's job true. and nothing mm -hmm. random's gonna like you're not gonna be paid x amount of dollars one day and then all of a sudden like oh just kidding like your nine to five job now you're like negative yeah 10 percent that mm -hmm. but for us that could you know no one mm -hmm. really knows so that's, that's a very good thing, thing. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to keep it up. Like, it's, it's more, yeah, just for me, it's just being consistent and, yeah, just trying to, like, push a lot out and also have a lot of, like, when you work with brands and you have other commitments, like, that's hard, like, that's hard, too. So, like, just trying to, just, yeah, the regular schedule mm -hmm. programming. <laughs> I literally schedule programming. I find that difficult. It's not. Uh -huh. So, the camera cut out. <laughs> Lovely. Yay! But yeah. I was basically just saying, like, as much as I love my job, and this is definitely not a complaint, a lot of good outweighs the bad. I just, this job can get kind of lonely. Like, being an entrepreneur can be lonely. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what we were saying. Yeah, because, like, when you're doing your work, you're by yourself. And, like, you don't go into a group setting like you were in, like, a corporate job. Yeah. Where you, like, you have your lunch breaks and you mingle with people. Even though it's so, yeah. it seems so, like, small and, like, unnecessary. But it's, I feel like it mm -hmm. makes, like, a huge difference yeah. in, like your environment and like your mood and just like yeah. your peace of mind honestly you're social though like how do you make friends <laughs> how do you make friends i put myself out there <laughs> no i have it's i feel like i just have lots of friends in like different groups even if i don't see certain people for like two months when i do hang out with them it's like just like we saw each other yesterday you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. But I mean, I get lonely all the time. I'm actually doing pretty well now. But like, there was a what? there was a period there was a period like mm, like in the summer where I was just not yeah. in a good place. I was just I don't know. I just felt extremely lonely, like more than yeah. normal. That's also a reason why I kind of want to join House or yeah. Launchpad because I think both. Oh, <laughs> that's so like I don't know if it's House or Launchpad. Um, and for those of you wondering, that's a new co-working space in Toronto um, that just opened up on Queen's Key. It's where different entrepreneurs or people who are creatives could go and do work and there's different rooms that have all the supplies you would need and you pay like a monthly membership, which is great. There's yeah. all these perks and there's also events with speakers and stuff like that. But I think just, again, that would be an opportunity for me to like go and, you know, mingle with other people. It's also giving me that, that space to just feel a little bit more... Mm -hmm. Like a community. Yeah, part of a community. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I just find it, it's like I think when you meet people who do similar things to you, you think like first you have a lot in common, but there's so many different types of uh, creatives. yeah creatives out there. So I think totally. that's definitely valuable. Like I think yeah. we're all different types of creatives. Oh, oh yeah, like, sure. For sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> for, oh yeah. For sure. sure. Um, but yeah, so that's another yeah. thing too. Like, I would love to join a place like that as well. Mm -hmm. But you like love getting out of your house. Like, that's the different thing. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy my loneliness. <laughs> so I extent. love being in. Like, I do world. love like the mm -hmm. thought of me having to. I think that's another thing with videos and stuff too. It's like 
when you do that co-working type of thing, it's a lot of like preparing and stuff like that too. So for us to like have to go and yeah. film like all the way, like, if you're I go, downtown too, but it's like yeah, no, it's, it's a lot to be prepared. You really got to stay on top of your stuff. So I do enjoy like for me, it's a lot less stressful to be at home and just to have all my stuff there and yeah. be like local because I'm in the car and things like that. But yeah, it definitely has its. If I live closer to like yeah. that area, wait, what's, the, what's the membership be? It's not bad. It's only $80 a month, right? But $80 for the full membership and $50 oh. for the co-working suite. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. So it's like Soho House, but like not entertainment. No, Soho like, House is $1,600? Yeah, no, but I mean like in terms of like the concept. Yeah, I think it's like, like WeWork. It's, it's like more like WeWork. It's more collaborative and like oh, open, okay. I feel like. Yeah, and the perk is that the house part, like uh -huh. the part that the weekend is endorsing, yeah. I guess. So every few months, there's probably gonna be like three a year or four a year, mm -hmm. four periods. They'll pick 12 people who are creatives, not necessarily just musicians, yeah. who they'll take under their like- To meet the weekend? No, I don't know. <laughs> meet to, meet, to meet the weekend, woo! <laughs> no, they take, kind of take under their wing and like apparently will like help them yeah. spread their wings. I feel like we can just like drive around Dylan's neighborhood and we'll find the weekend. weekend. Yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's still Scarborough. Yeah. I mean, his family's in Scarborough and all of his friends are. It's funny because Drake always like references Scarborough in his music. He's not from Scarborough, but like, um, I grew up, like, I, I went to school in Scarborough and it's, it's not like, I, I feel like people who would go there because of the references in Drake's songs would be kind of disappointed. I love Scarborough, but like I'm just saying. <laughs> Like hookah bar that he always really? references in. I used to love hookah bar. Did you guys? I used to go <laughs> no, like I and not, dabble. Yeah. Really? No, there was really one really near my not. house that served with like tobacco. Mm -hmm. Like, cause some of them are yeah. just herbs, but it had tobacco, so you get like a really big head rest. <laughs> and we used to go like every weekend before we could drink. Yeah. But, the, <laughs> uh, but like, if you go there, it's like it's just so random. It's like every other place. Like you would just think it's a lot more glamorous and like just, yeah. it, it, it's. It's There's just normal people, guys, living normal lives. It's suburb, but if you go around there. Yeah, man, man does. It's nostalgic, though, if you go Race around there. Exactly. Like, I have people comment on my YouTube all the time who like are around like Scarborough. They know exactly where I'm taking my pictures, which I think is really funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, ah, did you live in Scarborough when you started your channel? No, I I, I live in North York, so oh, I don't even did? I don't even live in, yeah. I never okay. lived in Scarborough, so I'm not I'm not a Scarborough ting. Um, but ting. Um, yeah, like I, my school's like on my high school's like on the cusp of Scarborough. Like people who are actually from. Scarborough wouldn't count it as Scar Scarborough. Like they wouldn't consider it Scarborough. But like, yeah, we knew a lot of people around there. And it's, it's just a suburb. It's like any other suburb. Okay, so last question. Let's wrap it up. We're done. We're pretty much done. We're yeah. pretty much done. Have We're we pieces for eat real. everything yeah. basically. I could eat more, but like I should. Yeah, eat. that wasn't even that much. I'm really full actually. Are you? Like Maybe your stomach shrink or something. Maybe. I'm like <laughs> hungry. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess the question would be, what are all of us asking for for Christmas? Um, in like a superficial way, I said like no one can say one piece. <laughs> no, like what like <laughs> item, physical item. item that you know yeah. you just really desire for no apparent reason do you want for Christmas? Yeah. Okay, so I get super frustrated because when I shoot on my phone for my photos for my Instagram, if the lighting is not you know nice and bright and cool yeah. <laughs> If it's not golden hour. Okay, so if it's not like super nice out or if it's not golden hour, and obviously if it's at nighttime, like I feel like my photos don't turn out the way I want to and I get really frustrated, especially because like I'm not always asking the same person to take my photos. So when my mom takes them, she feels like it's her fault and I'm like, it's not. And I'll just get angry and I'm like, it's the phone, but like I'm frustrated now and I don't want to shoot anymore. So I want the new iPhone, um, XS or XS Plus or Max. What do you have? I thought you had the. I have the 8. And it's not great. I'll tell you that right now. Pain. It's not great. I have yeah. the eight. Um, yeah. I have this. Whatever this is. I have a seven. Guys. Yeah, this is a seven. seven. I think oh, we have the same one. one. Yeah, we have yeah. the same one. Your photos are. Would you use your. No, use your camera. I know, I use my phone. <laughs> Maybe because, mm -hmm. like, you have the whole faded thing going. It works. The faded thing? I have, like, the. No, like, your, we're, your we're, theme right now is, yeah. like, faded. It, it's. We're not really trying. That's the theme. <laughs> That's the theme right now. Well, I also just. It works. <laughs> You have to get the right daylight, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So a lot of you are shooting when it's darker, yeah. Yeah. Then will any of your case if I cases fit? I don't know. At least I don't know. Even the new DHL one. Kylie's promoting yeah. them. What? Oh, yeah, I know. I saw her. I like the custom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Stormy. 
Aww. That's what her set. That's so cute. I think so. Aww. Well. Um, what's your item of desire, her wish list item for Christmas? I don't know. You got your camera, but it would have been that probably if you could ask for I mentioned this before on my Maybe. video, but it's really stupid and that's why it's my wish list item. We asked for what? I like okay. I mentioned this in my video okay. and like I really want a new pair of Uggs. Is that like okay. I love that. That's so funny. You have <laughs> to post like one on your Instagram. Ones. Yeah, if I get one. Those are cool. Can, how much are they? Yeah, no, because I looked them up, they're like three hundred twenty five US. Mm -hmm. So they'd be like not much more than the regular. But they'll be like four hundred dollars. To comp or not yeah. to comp? I don't know. We'll see. Well, like, I bought them for you. Maybe. I don't know. It's not the thing she will. But yeah, like, <laughs> I um, I don't know. It, it just to me, it feels kind of like a waste because I've had them since like middle school and I had them in university and they're just like I I it's only wear them when like, I'm lazy, right? I know, but like most every day I'm lazy at one point. Yeah. You know, so like I think it's the most yeah. worn. But if you're walking your dog, like you're going in and out of your building yeah. too, that would be good. Exactly. Or if you're just going to grab a coffee or just like. Like I like we run out and we go to Michael's all the time. Michael's. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that's like very Michael. crafty. I know. I go to Michael's. No, I'm not even joking. My Google Maps, like you know how it predicts like yeah, where yeah. you're going. They're like, yeah, like this six minutes to get to Michael's. Like, yeah. like, Why? Hey, Other than the yarn, what else do you? We just love it there. Oh, that's so cute. Do you have a membership? We, just love it. we, we do. We get the but coupons. Like, yeah. Apparently those like we get the coupons like, every time. time. But yeah, we're always there. We love Michael's. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. That's. That's like my wish list item because it's like something I have a hard time buying myself because they're ex it's like, they're expensive for what they are to be honest. Yeah, but like, I love them. Yeah, because they get ruined so quickly here. Yeah, I think that's the problem. The salt. They're not that expensive for a yeah. pair of boots, but it's like oh yeah, just for what they are. And yeah, then for the, like you wouldn't wear them in the snow. You're really wearing them to yeah. on your car. You know, Sarah, what's your wish list item? Yeah, yeah. I feel like an unlimited Valley Village gift card. <laughs> Seriously, that is so fun. Yeah, I feel like that you get so fun. that's so, <laughs> so fun. That one? Not unlimited. Not unlimited, but no, that would be cool because then I could just go in there. And usually I always bring like cash yeah. so I don't overspend because I overspend. That's why you bring cash? Yeah. Oh my god. That's I also no spend like $500 every time. I literally thought because like they only took cash and then I paid with card. Oh, I was like, oh. Cool. No. <laughs> I just do it to like budget myself. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's smart. At least you've like implemented that. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, guys. So thank you for watching our mukbang. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Thumbs up! And let us know in the comments below um, if you have any other questions for us or if you want us to do another video together on one of their channels. They Happy have New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Well, I mean, we won't see you for. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll we'll see you. You won't see me. Yeah. I said we won't see none. <laughs> okay. So we can say Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. Bye.